Hello, welcome to the attendance management module of IHRMS. We will cover this module for all three kinds of logins, that is employee, admin and super admin login. This here is an employee's dashboard. This module contains everything related to employees attendance and leaves. In first part, an employee can see his monthly attendance of present and past months like for January 2019. Here we will first get a summary report of month's attendance. It contains employee's ID, name, office location, total month's days, present days of employee, total working hours and hours compensate. This is the difference between number of hours an employee is expected to work and his actual working hours in a month. If it is written in green color then his actual working hours are greater than expected. Otherwise, this box would be red. We can view the detailed report from this eye icon. Here we have columns like serial number, present date, which only shows the dates when employee was present. In time is the punch in time when the employee marked in his attendance. In Indovision, employees mark their attendance with IHRMS mobile app, which also takes their employees' location at the time of punch in and punch out. So this is the location of the employee when he punched in. Similarly, the punch out time and location, total working hours of the day, hours compensate is again the difference between office working hours and the employees' working hours. See, it says 13 minutes in this green box, which means the employee's working hour are 13 minutes greater than office working hours of 8 hours and 30 minutes. And if the employee does not complete his 8.5 hours, the hour compensate shows the red box with a difference in time. View detail shows the punch detail of the employee for a present date. Punch time shows the time when the employee punched in the IHRMS app, his location at that time, plus they can also add a remark every time they punched. For calculating working hours, only the first and last punch time are considered. We can also save this table outside of info portal with these options. We also have them here. And we can sort this table column wise with these little triangles and below we have total compensate of zero hours because employees total working hours are more than minimum required and here we have this little m that says mispunch approved we'll know about mispunch shortly let's go to present month now july 2019 in details. See July attendance table is still sorted according to out time, the descending out time that we have selected in January. So it's a good thing. Let's first sort it. Let's return to our table. In view details, we have all the time entries when the employee punched, his location at that time, and remarks. See here we have a remark. NA is when there is no remark. Now to the next part, leave summary. It contains info about all kinds of leaves an employee can apply for. For example, total casual leaves, casual leaves taken, and the difference, the casual leaves remaining. Same columns for sick leave, comp off, business trip, leave without pay and paid leaves. Here too we can get a copy of this table with these options and the column visibility. Where we can hide the columns we don't want to see. For example if I remove sick leave, sick leave taken and remaining, it's gone from the table. Next is leave list. Here an employee get a list of all the leaves in a month. 
whatever their status be like approved pending or taken and they can also see the list of past months by selecting year and month from here and clicking submit by default we get a list of present month only here we have column for serial number which also have these check boxes which is useful in updating status from here and we have column for employee code leave id helps in keeping record of leave requests employee name manager name any remark leave type leave apply date from and to date leave period and status approved status means that this request is approved by the manager pending means it is yet to be approved or cancelled and taken means that it was approved and employee has taken the leave and also edit action which is only available for pending leave because these leaves are already approved and taken so we don't need to edit anything in them let's edit this leave now here employee name and id are already filled leave type shows only those leaves that are available to be taken by employee in bracket it shows the number of those leaves that employee is still eligible to take then we have duration if we select first half day from and to time just disappeared so if we want to select the from and to time just click on other and you can select time from here you can also change the from and to date by just editing it from here or you can also choose the date picker I'm selecting the same date as I'm selecting the time of uh, from 2 p.m. to 5 and write my comment here and here we can write name and email of that person in the company who we want to send a carbon copy of this leave request it's an optional field so we can hit apply leave applied successfully now see we have made changes in this table as a leave period now is of 3 hours and the from and to date to date we have changed and we also have a remark that we wrote in comment now these changes would have reflect in employees manager ID too let's quickly go to his ID and approve this leave this is that employees manager ID his name is here leave requests are received in staff management in staff leaves here is that pending request of three hour leave period to approve this we have to select this checkbox and select approved from here type a remark if you want to and update one leave status successfully updated now let's go to that employees ID and see status for that leave is approved now it's working fine next is apply leave here an employee can apply for a leave we have just seen these fields when we were editing a previously made leave request so let's quickly fill them up leave type casual field duration full day from date to date so this is a two days leave you see casual leaves is showing 1.5 days but we have taken a two days leave so this should throw an objection when we apply and yes the error occurred and the reason that you cannot apply for more leaves than available so let's try again from date to date and apply successfully applied this should show in leave list here it is a two days leave with pending status next part is miss punch here we have a list of all the miss punches ever happened with their status of either approved or pending as they have to be approved by the manager 
we cannot perform any action here but the manager must have received these requests in his staff response so let's quickly go to his id and approve these requests this is the manager id staff management and here is staff mispunch here we got our mispunch for the date of 4th and 1st of july this mispunch table have all the necessary columns like punch id which is like daily attendance id see these two are different for the same employee because they are for different dates then employee id his name old punch in and punch out time new punch in and punch out time that he himself gave while creating this punch request manager name remark or comment punch date miss punch apply date approved date date when manager approved the miss punch and status that could be pending or approved so now let's approve our request of 4th of july select the check box select miss punch status approved type any remark here and update miss punch status successfully updated here it's approved now let's get back to our employee id see it's approved here next is comp off comp off or compensatory off is a leave granted to employee as a compensation for overworking on holidays or week offs this table have column of comp off date which was the day when employee did overtime remarks this is entered by the employee apply date of comp off request and status which could be taken cancelled approved or pending as done by employee's manager to make a new comp off request click this button here employee name and id are already filled select that comp off date let's say 7th of july which was a sunday write comment here this is what that shows in remarks and then apply this comp of request will not be successfully applied because this necessary condition will not be fulfilled for 7th of july let's still apply for this here it is no attendance found for 7th of july this was all about attendance management module in employee id now let's check the same in super admin id this is ihrms super admin id dashboard in attendance management monthly summary attendance here to see attendance summary super admin has to select company or branch first see this edit button appeared when we selected the company it helps super admin to change the week offs and holidays of the month week offs are decided at the beginning of the year but a super admin can still change them and select month and year submit here we get summary attendance for february with columns for employee id their name office location total month days employee present days total working hours hours compensate and details here are the month details of a single employee this table is same as an employee get to see in his monthly attendance details we can also view details of every date here and again to copy this table outside of ihrms info portal we can choose one of these options column visibility to hide or show a column select the number of rows to show from here and can sort these tables according to these columns by selecting these little triangles next is detailed monthly attendance here too we first have to select company or branch month
time year is right first i would have to show the table without punch time and working hour so i'm not checking these boxes and click submit here it is the detailed attendance for february it is sorted by serial number let's sort it by employee name here we have attendance status of every employee and each date and we have a legend on top to make sense of these symbols like P means present, week off is simply week off, M is miss punch, A means absent, then we have leaves in green with their names like casual leave, business trip and with that we have covered all the symbols. It goes on till the last date. Then we have total present days of employee, approved mispunch days, holidays, leaves, absent days, total month days, total working hours, hours compensate, and the details. Same details that we have seen before. And like any other table, we can get a copy of this outside of IHRMS info, info portal with these options and search any keyword here. Next is attendance not finalized. It contains a list of employees whose attendance is not finalized. Here too, we first select company, salary year and month. Submit here. This employee's attendance is not finalized. Next is generate final attendance. Here, super admin can upload, view, or edit any month's attendance. And he can also add area attendance. Let's upload attendance first. We can keep the present month and year. Select company. Now here we have to upload attendance in a CSV file that is comma separated value file and to know its format we can also download a sample from here. Here it is. This is the complete format. Here we can add employee code, attendance month, then dates. Total days of month, total approved leaves, total LWP, that is leave without pay, total absent days, then CL, SL, EL, OD, comp off, total week off, total present, and holidays. Let's add an employee's data for the month of July. Here it is for July 2019. I have copied this data from a past month. Total days of month 31. Approved leave 1, which was a CL, casual leave. Total week of 7. Total present days 22. Now we will upload this attendance in the IHRM's info portal. So now choose the file to upload. Upload. One employee's attendance saved. Now we can view it in draft attendance. Select company and submit. Here it is. The same employee code, attendance month July. And the same data is here now. Now we have some actions here. Like delete this attendance for recalculate, apply late penalty, approve this attendance, edit this attendance. We can edit it from here. Select company again. 
see here we can change the status of the date present to absent and then approve this attendance data processed now if you want to view that draft attendance here we will get nothing because now it is not a draft it's final see no draft attendance found that attendance can be found here in HR approved attendance July 2019 company here it is and now it must be locked yes its status is locked and in the generate final attendance we also can add area attendance in the same manner we have added a normal attendance next part is HR approved attendance that we have just seen it is a locked attendance that is its status is locked and it cannot be edited now this one that we have added next is leave this shows a complete list of leaves in a company in a month so first select a company and submit leave list for July 2019 here we have columns for employee code leave ID which is like serial number for leaves name of employee their manager remark it is the reason for leave leave type apply date from and to date of leave period status and edit action edit action is only available for pending leaves that is leave with pending status besides the manager super admin can also change status of a leave by selecting this checkbox and select approve or reject from here one leave status successfully updated now let's check it here it is this one we just approved it next part is leave summary here we have to select the company first submit and we get a leave summary for every employee in the company table have columns for employee code their name number of casual leaves that is the total number of casual leaves available in that year casual leaves taken and the difference between them leaves remaining same is for sick leave comp off business trip leave without pay and paid leaves next part is staff leaves this one is not actually needed in super admin id because he already have access to all of the employees leaves in these two parts so next is comp of quota this is the list of all the comp of requests by any or every employee in the company this is the default table that shows all the comp of requests if you want to see requests from a specific time period we have to change from and to date with these date pickers and then click search the table have column for employee code comp of id name of employee their manager remark which was given as reason by employee comp of date and status which could be either approved pending taken or cancelled super admin has power to change status of any comp of request for example we select this one and change the status to approved and update status successfully updated here it is next is staff comp off this again is not needed for super admin id as he already have access to all of the comp off requests in comp off quota next so next is miss punch it shows the list of all of the miss punch requests in the company 
here again if you want to see uh, miss punch request from a particular time period we have to change from date and to date from here and then click search table have column for punch id which is the daily attendance id employee id name of employee their old punch time this is the punch in and this is punch out time and new punch time their manager name remark by employee punch date miss punch apply date approved date and status super admin can change this status by selecting the checkbox and change the status from here successfully updated it was this one see approved and like any other table we can copy this table outside of ihrms info portal with the help of these options and we can search any name or keyword here for example see the change next part is working shift update select company submit here super admin can make changes in shift of any employee for example it's updated this was all about attendance management in super admin id in admin id all the parts of this module are same but with just one difference it don't have this working shift update this was all about attendance management module for contact details refer to description of this video thank you for watching